wanted to make a video today on the E90. Just wanted to let you guys know the differences and why the 2010 M Sports are like probably one of the best E9X chassis, at least for 335s. There's just so many little details that you don't even realize that a lot of people probably wish they had. This just comes with the stock. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit. And so if anyone's trying to cop one of these, they can know. These are the ones for sure. Yes, sir. I had to start off with the front. This is pretty much how it'd come from stock since I put the OEM grill on. But this bumper is the first thing. It just looks so mean. And when you have this bumper, you have these ducts on either side for brake cooling. And then you got the fog lights too. And the LCI headlight just go crazy too. I'm gonna do a close up of it. For the year, like this is pretty damn crazy. I just need to get some better bulbs and it'll be fucking money. Won't even need to upgrade these headlights. And these are pretty clear. I haven't even done like a service on them. It came pretty clean already. The next thing is side skirts. M Sport side skirts match the bumper. And I forgot to even mention the LCI hood. Cause this whole car is LCI since it's the last year. What else? It has folding mirrors when I lock it. Which is kind of stupid, but it's kind of cool. Also has the shadow line trim, which is like the black trim around the windows. Which personally, I kind of like the chrome trim better, but I'm gonna probably just leave it just so I don't risk fucking anything up. And a lot of cars won't have this, but the last owner of mine painted the roof black, which honestly it looks pretty damn good. I like it. And it came tinted. Yup. And I'm coming to the rear. We got the LCI taillights with the M Sport bumper. What the fuck? Which looks so fire. All OEM. I haven't changed anything. All King is from factory. I pretty much did an OEM plus build so far. Just coilovers and the wheels, but everything else is stock, which is 
just looks so good. You don't even need to change anything. A lot of people would just be overdoing it. But yep, that's pretty much it for the exterior. Which that's already a handful of things that a lot of people are gonna do anyway to their car. But shit, this came factory with it. And another thing that it comes with, I forgot to mention, is suspension, but I changed that so it's not stock anymore. Because that shit was kind of blown out from being almost 15 years old. All right, coming to the interior. Got the M Sport door sills. Factory option. Even in the back. Doesn't have the M logo, but it's still a little upgraded metal piece. And then it comes with the M dead pedal. I think that's what you call this. Which is pretty dope. I need to get it cleaned up. And all inside the interior, I don't know if this is just for LCI or it's because of the M Sport, but all the knobs and stuff have like this silver trim around it, which looks super nice compared to the stock ones. I mean, right here. Really need to get that silver trim, it would just be crazy. Match with these and this. Let me get a new one of these. I don't know what the fuck happened here. Another thing that I really love is my steering wheel that I had put on. This is an OEM, obviously, but the OEM wheel was pretty nice, but I had to upgrade. Always wanted a carbon wheel. Also recently added these. It's like an M Sport looking foot pedals, which is dope because you don't have to drill into them. You just got like fake looking bolts. But the main thing I really love about this interior is the roof. All black headliner, OEM. I need to rip the rest of this shit off. Make it look cleaner. And even this all black, this looks way cleaner. I also have in this car that you saw is double hump, which I don't love, but I'm starting to not mind it. I just need to get a car plate head unit and it'll be fire. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior. The main thing is just the roof and, I don't know, everything just feels like nicer to the quality. You see, still work barely. Most people's don't. But yeah, I think that's it for this, for the interior. Not much else to show. Uh, as you can see, my interior is super mint, like everything in the back seats. I think the worst thing about this though that I wish I had was the seats don't go down. And the last owner did some tweaker shit. Same with all this, is like sound deadening for you. They had like, what do you call it? Subwoofer and all that BS. Everything back here is like missing and dirty. I, I want to get a whole new rear carpet. And this is all clapped. The homie shot me this because I didn't even have anything here. Old battery from my last car, threw it in here. Somehow this got rid of my, I had like a, 
some airbag lights and shit and when I swapped the battery that shit went away it's so hyped yeah I think that's it for this uh, video guys just wanted to let you guys know the differences between a M Sport 2010 E90 it's way different than a the older ones all right guys so that's gonna do it for this video just wanted to let you guys know some of my personal things that i've noticed that are different and way nicer than a stock 335 like 07 through 09 This is definitely the top tier spec, especially in this blue, Le Mans blue. Best color, I, I'm so obsessed with it. And this wheel setup, just it's the cherry on top. Just gonna get me a carbon coat, little single turbo. Yes, sir. You know it's coming. Talk to you guys soon in a new video. Yes, sir.